But really quick, I mean, one of the other things, Sheriff Barry, I'm sure you're aware of is that attorneys, criminal defense attorneys like myself have, and, and Mr. Holloway and Phil, we visit the jail and we would like to have access in a reasonable, within a reasonable time, in a reasonable space to our clients. Um, and I can also say that in Fulton County, I mean, it is a crapshoot oh, as yeah. to whether or not you're even going to be able, they're going to be able to find your client. I mean, well, they lost my the last one I had down there. They lost him. I couldn't find him for two weeks. Did you have you ever seen the sign they have inside the Fort County Jail where it says "Lost in Jail" to has a list of names on it? Uh, I, I I don't go. Oh down yeah, I've no, seen I, it. I steer clear. I, I will. I'll delegate that to Rachel. I've uh, never seen that, but I also don't think that they, they they if there is a lost in jail in a list, it probably has not been updated in about six years, but. They don't know who's in the jail. They don't know where uh, they are. I, I, I know that. Yeah. And then, you know, and then you go and sit up on a floor. So they'll, instead of like bringing you to an attorney area where you're allowed to bring in, I can't bring in my briefcase there. Wait a minute. No, hold on. I was about to get into some of these okay. um, questions and super chats before sure. I do. I, I, but you guys have my full attention now. Are, are y'all telling me that there are, that there's a list of people that they don't know where they are in the jail or if they're there even was, still there? There was, there was about six years ago. Yeah. Last time I was in the Fulton County jail. Yeah. 